we've identified that a highly trained, highly educated, highly proficient force is what we need to put up against our enemy's strongest forces and prevail. IBEX is the infantry battalion experiment. When the Commandant came out with the force design of 2030, 1-2 was selected to perform and be able to handle a couple of different scenarios uh, that we thought that we would face in the future. So with that, we have a, a different structure from your traditional uh, battalion. Uh, starting with the platoon level, we have a gunnery sergeant platoon sergeant. We also have staff sergeant squad leaders, sergeant team leaders, so on and so forth. At the headquarters, we have a very robust medical capability with a independent duty corpsman, and also we have a medical officer. We don't have a weapons company. We don't have the typical assets uh, or personnel that will be employing those things. We've kind of spread loaded them throughout the battalion, lightened our footprint a lot, both with personnel and, uh, and equipment, to be able to pursue other tasks. The introduction of some of our organic precision fires the addition or the attachment of some of our signals intelligence marines, our electronic warfare marines that are not normally found within a standard infantry battalion, those were capabilities that we needed to have to succeed and to provide to higher command and even the joint environment in the future fight. One of the other pieces that we're experimenting with that we're very lucky to have is a lot of gear, a lot of cool weapons, a lot of optics and high technology that's allowing us to make our marines more lethal and more efficient in what they do. The requirements that we were tasked to, uh, to work with by the commanding general and really the, by the service was really working distributed operations and what it takes to conduct distributed operations in an environment against a peer adversary. All across the different domains, the land and the sea, the maritime environment, but also within uh, the electromagnetic spectrum. How do we operate in those environments against a peer adversary? For our first experimental exercise, we really kind of concentrated on conducting small-scale raids, uh, infiltration through difficult uh, terrain, uh, signature management, all kind of at these small unit levels, the squad and the platoon level, uh, to really start kind of building capacity and building our understanding of the concepts at the small unit level. For our second experimental exercise, we really wanted to focus on conducting distributed expeditionary advance base operations and how we conduct command and control, reconnaissance, counter reconnaissance, uh, again, signature management, all in a littoral environment at the company and platoon level. After that, we really wanted to test distributed operations at the company level. We wanted to push that company hundreds of miles from its supporting our headquarters. And that's what we did in, in West Virginia, in the mountains of West Virginia really kind of building on the exercises that we've done before. We're incorporating you know, the infiltration, reconnaissance, counter-reconnaissance, signature management, uh, you know, working against a, a peer adversary, but doing it at range in the distributed environment. So following that, we really tested distributed operations at the, now the battalion level, uh, pushing companies hundreds of miles across California and Arizona to conduct sea denial operations, uh, reconnaissance, counter-reconnaissance, uh, working with uh, SOF and indigenous forces, and, and really kind of testing the, the limits of a, of a distributed battalion. In the latest experiment, the battalion was evaluated during its combat readiness exercise prior to deployment. And it was an 11-day exercise conducting offense, defense, and security operations day and night against a peer adversary using the force design concepts that we have been testing up to this point. 100% certain I, I think we're heading in the right direction. If you just look at the way that, that the nature of war is going now, everybody's using drones, everybody's sensing something, whether you use like communications, like, you know, we're using communication windows. With that, I think that gives us survivability. So I, I know we're moving in the right direction when we talk about like, you know, expeditionary advanced base, uh, things of that nature, uh, especially, you know, the more we spread out, the less signature that we have. Because like, if you can be sensed, you can be targeted. If you can be targeted, you can be killed. We are moving in the right direction in the sense of how we're adding more experience to platoons, to battalions, in order to get farther away, but to still conduct the same mission. Our Commandant has stressed in his forces on guidance that the Marine Corps needs to step big with a small footprint. With smaller, lethal, highly versatile units as our foundation, when the next battle comes, our adversaries will meet an entirely new beast.